Hello and welcome, Fire Signs. <clears throat> Getting ready to do three separate readings for Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Um, they will be in that order. If you don't care to watch the whole video, please look down below in the comments. I will put the timestamps in there for you. Uh, also, if I could get you to like, subscribe, and please share these videos. Um, it helps me get into the algorithms at YouTube. All right, I am trying to get the paranormal flashlight set up. Give me a moment. Okay, let's see if I have that. All right. <clears throat> Spirit, can you give me a wink or a blink and let me know that you have control of that light? Can you let me know that I have it adjusted correctly for you? All right. Thank you, Spirit, on the light. Can you turn that clear off, please? Okay, you can, can't you? <laughs> okay. You don't have to. Just asking if you could. Thank you. First for Aries, doing a little mini reading for Aries. The light is working. My hands are not. Let me go ahead and shuffle for Aries. Jumpers coming out all over the place. Could make for an interesting read. Uh, Spirit, I need a couple more Jumpers, please, so that I can read for Aries. One more time here. I believe I've got enough to get started. All right. Alrighty, Aries, let's see what's happening for you guys. Hmm. We have the temperance card. <laughs> Hang on just a minute. <laughs> Come on, get up here. Get up there. Atta girl. Gotta have the my producer and director up here with me, right? Since she gets her her little dog butt turn around. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. <laughs> you know what? I can't do this without any of my crew, whether it's Spirit or little Miss Maggie May here getting her butt turned around. Oh, all right. Thank you, Spirit on the Light, too. <laughs> all right. We've got the Temperance card for you, Aries. It is all about patience right now. Um, it Right now, it feels like there are a lot of things happening that are out of your control. Um, we have the nine of wands, um, and that's you know that's the wounded warrior uh, energy. This is kind of the spot where you're taking the breather right now, trying to figure out which way you want to go. Um, you need one more wand. To wrap up this cycle. This is the nine. This is actually, actually the nine is actually the last one. Because once it goes to ten, um, we start with the one and the zero again. But you need one more wand to finish up this cycle. We have the eight of wands. You have probably, most likely, there is going to be a communication come through from somebody that you have not heard from in a while. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. Um, this is going to be a very direct communication, very abrupt and to the point. It is giving you a clear understanding of why you are walking away from a current situation. Uh, we have the Eight of Cups here. It's all about being able to just leave something behind and go. Um, you are not. wanting hang on let me see here let me, i'm trying to dial in on what you're you, you don't want to keep feeling like this um you know you you've got some kind of a, a 
broken heart, um, could be uh, an anger issue right about now, but it is you really leaving um, some things in the past that need, really need to be there. We've got the Page of Swords absolutely coming up, letting you know that that change is about to happen. And this is about the time when this change happens, when you're going to be coming, uh, getting into your own strength. You're going to be feeling confident and all put together. You have been kind of feeling, now this is, this King of Pentacles is I'm feeling is your energy Aries. And this is all about personal possessions too. I kind of feel like you may have already separated or broken friendship with this person. And now you're kind of like, I want my suitcase and I didn't get my hair dryer. And uh, you, there's kind of a, a little bit of that going on, but you've got another decision to make. Uh, the Two of Wands is all about looking around at the horizon, see what's out there, what's laying in store for you. It is about the choice you're going to get to make. Um, it felt like for a long time that things were happening to you and not for you, like you didn't have an opportunity to decide or make a change, and you're going to get to do that. Um, but that's why you're walking away from something left behind, whether it's the hair dryer or whatever it is. It's like, mm -mm, don't care. I can replace that crap. Got to get myself separated from this. We also have the six of cups that comes up. And that, as soon as you get walked away from this broken hearted pile of cups, where there's a new opportunity that's going to be coming through for you. This connection could be with work. Um, this connection could be, it's an opportunity for a human connection here. Um, might be meeting somebody new through work. There may be new people coming in or maybe even brand new work for you in regards to other people. All right. Hey, I'm going to pull and get another deck and go for some clarifiers here for Aries. Spirit, can I get some jumpers for Aries? Can I get one more, please? And I did, right on my lap. All right. Just what we were looking for. I kind of had a feeling it was coming up. We got the death card. Yeah, you're ready to wrap that cycle up. Um, wanting to move forward. It's going to come to an end, finally. Very rarely does the death card mean death in the physical world. This is death of a... a a cycle that wasn't serving you. Um, it brought you a lot of chaos, a lot of confusion, and it may have even been a toxic connection that you had, but it, it's you're wrapping it up. Um, you have been working on yourself. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. And this is all about you being creative and constructive in which way you're going to go with your life. Uh, minding your own business, tending to your own goals and your own dreams, not worrying about what anybody else is doing, worried about your own business. We have the full card um, because once this opportunity comes up, you're going to need, need to take that leap of faith that it takes to step forward into something new, something unknown. Um, standing out there on the edge, you're, you're, you know, you're like, you're not real sure. Should I go forward? Should I not? Go forward. Go forward. The uh, fool is ready for you. Um, and we have the world card. 
that is absolutely the best card to have following that death card. We know that end is coming and we know the new beginning is about to happen. The world is going to be at your feet. Everything is going to feel brand new and fresh again. Um, there's going to be a lot of things. And that's what that uh, fool card is all about. No preconceived notions. You know, don't don't label anything before you get to it. Um, but you've got that world card pulling all of those good things to you. All right, there you go, Aries. Uh, drop down, hit that like button. Um, coming back with Leo. All right, welcome in, Leo. Getting ready to do a general reading for the sign of Leo. We have the paranormal light set up. It has been working for Aries. Let's see how it communicates for Leo. Can I, Spirit, can I get some more jumpers for Leo, please? Whoop, 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 way too many. That one can come out. Actually, I had a hair stuck in the deck of the cards. All right, Spirit, can I get a couple more jumpers, please, for Leo? All right, I believe I have enough. Alrighty, looks like Leo is wrapping up something too. Looks like it's a energy and energy for the fire signs as a collective. Um, bam, bam, bam! Got the ten of swords. You are dealing with um, the end of a cycle. That 10 is the completion. It's been hard. It's been rough. Um, it looks as though somebody has really stabbed you in the back. Somebody's motives were not good to begin with. Right out of the chute. Um, they had this planned all along. Somebody wanting to... Maybe bring you down. Um, they set you up just to break your heart. We have the justice card that's getting ready to happen. Um, that justice card is all about higher energies that are looking to balance things out. For example, Leo, you have been, you know, dealing with a lot of crap um, from what I'm seeing here in the cards. The, the justice card is, literally can be justice in one hand. Um, you may have a, a legal issue with the person that you're trying to detach from, okay? You could have a legal issue. Or it could be this person that you're trying to detach from you may want to bring up charges. For example, ew, this, is a heavy, this is a heavy reading for Leo. Um, you know what? Maybe they, it's like an Aries, maybe they you forgot, you separated, you left, and they forgot their hair dryer. Now they may go get somebody and say, I, I demand my hair dryer, okay? It's all about wrapping up that ugly cycle that you've been dealing with, that Ten of Swords. Um, we also have the Knight of Swords. There's a change coming. You know, he's bringing about this. Um, you know, and the Swords is always a good indicator of clarity and justice. It has a lot to do with truth. But the Knight doesn't care. Man, he's coming in and you can see he's swinging that sword. He doesn't care who he takes out. This could be a, tra a painful transition for Leos. 
you weren't expecting you weren't expecting that betrayal they they covered it really good they hit it um then we have the eight of wands that comes up in reverse actually which really isn't a lot of different than straight up and down but that is about uh, could possibly be a heavy communication that's coming through. It could be another uh, fire sign you may be dealing with. But you've got something kind of heavy coming through as far as communication. Uh, this could also be... Mm, just the last, the last little bit of, you know, squaring up and settling up with somebody. That communication. I want my hair dryer. That hair dryer seems to be a repeating theme. You have the lover's card. That makes me feel like, and it came up in reverse, and that makes me feel like there's somebody close to you. Um, this very likely feels like a romantic connection. And the lovers can actually, this card can actually indicate a soulmate. Now, <laughs> soulmates aren't a big deal everybody has hundreds of soulmates okay we actually do uh it, it's a soulmate is anybody that can leave an impact on your life okay could be your fifth grade teacher could have been your cub scout leader could be um you know old mr smith that used to put your chain back on your bicycle for you those can all be soulmates it doesn't have to be somebody that you are absolutely in love with your own kids your parents your soulmates <clears throat> um we have the star card that comes up this is all about you finding the healing that you're going to need um, this is going to be kind of a, a, a crushing blow for you, Leo. Didn't expect this. You didn't expect a betrayal that's going to come out of this, or you did. You're seeing it now. Um, but you're wanting to move away from it. So you're going to, you need to take the time to heal properly. We've got to go clear back into our childhood with um, some of the issues that came up and bothered us as kids, you know, the fear of abandonment, um, the fear that we're not good enough, um, not having, not being able to find love. Uh, we have the chariot card. It also comes up. Chariot is something quick. Usually comes tearing into the arena. Um, if you remember back in gladiator days, it was pretty showy and, um, something's going to happen very quickly here for you. It's going to happen just about in, in no time at all. Um, and, but the good thing is the chariot usually brings, um, change that happens in a forward fashion too. You know, you're going to level up a little bit. We have the devil in reverse. Um, it was a very toxic connection you had. Whoever this person is was in your life, Leo, this is toxic. Um, there could be drug or alcohol use going on around it. That's what those chains actually represent. Here, let me turn this over. Um, that's what those chains actually, actually represent. Something having a hold on you. So it could be drugs or alcohol. All right, we're going to switch decks. Go with the Mystic Mondays. And get some clarifiers for Leo. Actually, the light has been awfully quiet back there it's for Leo. It was giving some responses for Aries, but he's choosing to be quiet for Leo. Spirit, can I get some jumpers for Leo, please? Clarification is what's needed. Sometimes a couple trips through the deck, the right cards come out. Sometimes it takes several trips through the deck for any cards to get to the place where they want to come out. I think I need at least one more. Spirit, can I get a couple more jumpers here? One or two more is all I need. I will finish this. There we go. All right. 
Well, Leo, you are ready to walk away from this. We've got the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is all about chaos. It is all about combat. It is about arguments. It is about disagreements. The Five of uh, Wands is all about what you're wanting to get away from. You're wanting to separate yourself from that. And I think this is going to be a good time for Leo. We have the Knight of Cups that comes up and the Knight of Wands. This is all about moving forward into a new relationship. You may have moved forward this time around because it may have been a sexual connection because the Knight of Wands is usually kind of, look at him, man. He's pretty dapper. He's all dressed. He's kind of wanting to um, go out in town and show his pole off there, okay? Um... But there's a new connection that's coming, especially with that Knight of Cups also showing up. We have the Seven of Pentacles that also shows up. Now, things are going to change financially for you, too. Uh, you're going to get back into an even ground, even footing. You can see she's watering this tree, making... Um, things bloom and things blossom. You know, Leo, that's what you've been doing. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. You have a new connection coming up, Leo. Somebody that's going to, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody that is really solid. Um, she does not have emotional issues. Um, the Queen, look at her. She, she absolutely has her shit together and she's holding that pinnacle up there right over her heart. Leo, you got somebody new coming. Things are going to begin to change and look up. All right, if that resonated, Leo, hit that like button for me, will you please? We are moving on to um, Sagittarius. Hello and welcome back. Sagittarius, how are you? I am going to, whoops, I don't, I guess it is actually working. Sorry I disrupted that spirit. Can I get you to give me a wink or a blink and let me know that I did not goof it up for you? <clears throat> All right. Um, getting ready for some jumpers for Sagittarius. The fire signs have had a pretty heavy reading so far. Aries and Leo kind of... Kind of heavy. Those turned over. Nope, way too many. And I just need a few more here. Let's see, Spirit has turned the light off. This is for Sagittarius. Bam. All right, Sagittarius. Again, bam. I think I fin almost finished up with the, the lover's card for Leo, and now we have it for Sagittarius. Um, it came up in reverse. You thought this person may have been your end-all, be-all. You know, you thought they were a soulmate. They may, they may very well be a soulmate. Sometimes soulmates come into our life to ruin everything. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> um, sometimes a soulmate comes in to, they have to kind of destroy things in order to get you back on a, on a path and on a new level, to get you headed back out in something different, something better. Um, you have been dealing, Sagittarius. Um, we've got the Eight of Swords came up in reverse. You know, you have been dealing with this. Um, issue for quite a while. You felt like your hands are tied and you've been staying put. You haven't wanted to make a decision to move on. Um, this is this connection's been causing you some heartache and some grief because you didn't want to be alone. Um, we had the hermit card that comes up in reverse. Could also be a Virgo that you might be dealing with. 
Um, sometimes when I see the signs and they pop out and they're kind of obvious, I bring it up. Otherwise, I kind of let them roll by. But this is the whole reason that you've kind of been holding off from not making a decision and not moving forward. You have not wanted to be alone. You have to be alone for a while. And when you go from one relationship to the next and go from one bed or house into the next, you haven't healed. You've got everybody has to take that time to go back, heal those hurts and those old emotions that are coming to the surface. And that's when we have the sun card um, for Sagittarius. That healing needs to come forward. This the sun came up in reverse. It's gonna take a little bit yet. It's it's still delayed. Um But it's going to come around for you, Sag. You've got to kind of let go of something in order to bring something new in. We have the moon card. And I do believe we have a full moon coming up on the 26th or the 27th of April. That may be when this change comes about for you. Because I think we're going into, I believe it's an Aries moon maybe. But um, this also depicts something that... Somebody is, sometimes it's kind of like the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde kind of card. Sagittarius, the person that you wanted to connect to and, and work with, kind of proved that there was two sides to them. Um, you got this loving, caring, giving kind of energy. And then at the flip of a coin, bam, thank you, spirit on the light. They could become vicious and ruthless. Um, you, you're kind of at your wit's end about this, Sagittarius. You thought you knew this person, and you really, really, you don't. It is the Knight of Wands that comes up. You may have had a player. That's what that little phallic symbol is that he's got in his hand there. He's holding up that wand. Could be another fire sign, again, that you're dealing with here. Um... This is somebody who has had other love interests on the side. He kind of didn't want to see that. Nobody does. We have the King of Swords that comes up in reverse. You know, the King normally doesn't have to say hurtful things. But in reverse, it is that energy. You know, that person that you were dealing with, Sag, has been brutal. They have been cruel. They have not held back, not minced any words. They're doing what they can do to kind of hurt you. They're trying to push you away. Because you got the Wheel of Fortune. They think that you could do better without them. Um, I don't doubt that this person uh, loves you, genuinely cares about you. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. But you've got that world card. There's some better things headed for you. Sagittarius. Hang on. Let's go for some clarifiers here from another deck using Mystic Monday's deck. I love this little deck. Man, Sagittarius energy is awful picky about the cards coming out. There we go. Can I get one more, please, Spirit? One more jumper. One more for Sagittarius. There it is. Woo, woo, woo. <clears throat> We have the Princess of Cups, and it comes up in reverse. This is all about a new relationship for you. Um, wow. It is what's coming after you heal. It's what's coming after that Wheel of Fortune. Um, Sagittarius, there's somebody else waiting for you. Uh, it is could be a, a long-standing old friendship, but this Queen of Cups is, you know, she's kind of holding that heart chakra space open. 
for somebody new. We have the Six of Swords it comes up to. Um, there's a brutal truth that's going to come out. And that the swords are all about truth. It's pretty jagged. It's, it's something you probably haven't wanted to hear. Um, the person you're dealing with may, be, may tell you that there's somebody else that they're in love with. It may be somebody that they did not fall out of love with yet. It could be an old relationship. Um, we also have the Seven of Wands that comes up. You know, the Seven of Wands is all about that a little bit of um, confrontation, a little bit more um, combative. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. This energy of this Seven of Wands is, again, it's fire energy. And we have the Four of Wands that actually comes up with it. Um, the four of wands is all about you not wanting to be boxed in. You can't be contained. You can't be confined. Sagittarius, you are a free spirit. You just kind of go with whichever, whatever you want to go with. Um, and, and you're tired of being beat in a corner. Thank you, spirit on the light. Um, you're tired of somebody maneuvering you and putting you, nobody puts baby in a corner. Okay. All right, there you go, Sagittarius. That's your reading. If it resonated, hit that like button. Please share and subscribe. And I never leave you guys that I don't bless you with love and light. See you soon.